Hi everyone. Welcome back to Swiss Home Garden. Chitra here. This is a long overdue video about our Navratri Kulu celebrations for the year 2020. I was very busy with the festivities these past 10 days and had really no time to edit and post this video earlier. So, without further ado, let's begin. In my last year's Navratri video, I explained the significance of celebrating this great Vedic tradition and culture. In this video, I will be touching on the spiritual and philosophical aspects of such festivities. Also, will be sharing some of my personal perspectives of this festival. For the full detailed explanation of this festival, I will link below last year's video. Starting with the steps, there is not much change here as I have not added anything new. Please stay with me till the end of the video where you can see the change in the park decor. My daughter helped me in arranging and decorating this year. She helped quite a lot actually right from unpacking as I had a very severe backache for the past 4 weeks and I was under treatment with a chiropractor. The purpose of such festivals is to celebrate life and at the same time gain some spirituality. These 9 days our homes are so beautiful and filled with divine energy. We are also able to harness this through fasting, prayers, chanting mantras and generally increasing the vibrations and frequencies of our physical, mental, emotional and astral bodies. Fasting also cleanses the body and purifies the mind. This festival fortunately takes place at the time of the year when it is beginning of fall, which is actually the ideal time to cleanse your body to prepare for the cold winter. Since we are also living in this samsara or the physical and material world, we cannot do severe penance. due to so many responsibilities so the festivals kind of helps us to elevate our consciousness a little bit at this time and also to connect with the divine energy this is the purpose of such religious festivals life is hard enough and during such days we forget our sorrows and worries and tend to add joy to our life by socializing decorating wearing nice clothes eating nice food This also helps my daughter to get some connection to the Indian culture and the Vedic traditions. Now more than ever humanity has to get to grip with the spiritual and metaphysical aspects of life. My prayers during this festival and generally has been for the past few months to seek the blessings from the higher source for good health, prosperity and spiritual awakening of the humanity as a whole. We have somehow lost our way with so much propaganda from the mass media and seem to have forgotten the very purpose of life and why we incarnate in this world. Once we incarnate in this world, disease, old age and death is inevitable. Nobody can ever escape this. Yet we are being sold a picture of eternal youth. beauty and life from the social engineering which has taken place through mass media and modern education systems as a child growing up in india it was common place to live with the older generations see them fall sick and die and it was not necessarily only the old people even otherwise with the modern lifestyle and social media stimulation we seem to have disconnected ourselves completely from the most important factors of life the 24/7 news propaganda in all aspects has peddled massive fear porn and has massively reduced the spiritual vibrations of our planet we are forced to put in so much energy for something so invisible that we have forgotten the bigger picture of life where energy flows matter is manifested so it is left to us to shift our energies and our consciousness Life should be about living in this moment and not be bombarded with this constant obsession of death and disease which the media is successfully propagating on all of us. I personally have not signed up to this death cult which is propagated by the controllers of our world. 
I have chosen to incarnate in this world to learn something and undergo my karma simultaneously and also to elevate my consciousness. Believe me, I am not talking from a pedestal. These past few years has also been very difficult for me personally. Although we live in Switzerland, which is supposed to be one of the richest country in this world, we are very much encountering a lot of challenges day to day to just stay afloat in this material world. Life is about living, loving and joy. This physical body does at one point die. Yet the only thing that we can take with us on our soul level is the joy, love and our precious memories and also some of our spiritual awakening. These were some of the realizations which I have had for the past few decades in this lifetime and I just wanted to share these thoughts and realizations with you. Let's move on to the park arrangement. This year we have again set two wedding scenes, a small Indian village next to the Indian wedding scene. In the foreground is a traditional South Indian wedding. Behind the wedding scene we have arranged a princess park. Further behind is the church wedding. My daughter decorated almost all of the Playmobil sets. I usually dismantle everything at the end of the festivities. She could nicely arrange them all on her own and had some great ideas this year. She placed the bride and groom outside the church wedding and I find that this looks really so beautiful. Compared to last year, we had them inside and it was a little bit too dark. She completed that seen with a musician who is wearing the red dress and also placed a small drinks table. What I added this year was this bridal car. This was the only new addition. I got this sometime in summer and I thought this fits perfectly to this wedding scenario in my Golu celebrations. She interchanged the couples over there. The bridal car is complete with also three cans at the back. We usually mix in a few sets and then come up with some kind of arrangement. The princess park is overrun with princesses and queens and there are just a couple of male figures. That reminds me that I have to add in some more male figures. For the princess park, we mixed and matched many little things like this grotto at the back and then unicorns and other little animals and figures. It doesn't have any rhyme or reason here, but it kind of all comes together very beautifully. This year we didn't want to set any more horse farms and riding schools so we came up with this I love weddings and we hardly ever go to a wedding and it has been years since I've been to a wedding. So we enjoy it in our Navratri Golu arrangement. My sincere prayers to the presiding deities of the Navratri festivities to Lakshmi was to bless humanity with wealth and prosperity, to Goddess Saraswati to bless us with true knowledge and spiritual awakening and to Goddess Durga was to bless us with strength and good health. Let us pray for the upliftment of human consciousness towards light, love and the very essence of living. On this note, I end my video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you for watching.
If you are new to my channel kindly subscribe I post one new video every week on food from scratch Swiss country living gardening and natural recipes See you in my next video bye bye